The public relations market in Africa is a relatively new market, not in all countries of course, so in South Africa there would have been public relations for many, many years, and I think it's developing as it probably has done in most other countries, is that companies start off by knowing that they need an advertising agency and employing an advertising agency, and then they get to understand that public relations and correct positioning is really important. So public relations in some parts of Africa is very well developed, and in other parts is developing very quickly and making exponential progress as the continent becomes more important and more in the world spotlight. Well, there are 55 countries in Africa, so our market is very varied from one country to the next. I think the challenges are that infrastructure in Africa still lags the infrastructure in other parts of the world. By infrastructure, I mean things like basic telecommunications, where there would be many people in Africa, for example, who have never had access to a telephone. This, of course, is a challenge, but it's also an opportunity because it's a rapidly changing environment. Um, and just to give you an idea, by 2014, there will be 600 million people using mobile phones in Africa. Many of those people would never have had a telephone before. So their first telephone is going to be a, mar is going to be a mobile phone. And that means that the opportunities to communicate are increasing exponentially um, in most parts of Africa. So my top five tips for anybody who wanted to work from a PR perspective in Africa, the first one would be to remember that Africa is not a country, it's a continent, and it consists of 55 countries. The most important thing being to understand that one size doesn't fit all. Communications works differently from one country to the next, and we need to understand that when we work in Africa. So the second would be that we utilize our network of local people. We have a very strong network of 35 affiliate agencies on the ground in Africa who understand what market appropriate implementation is and we should sell that to the benefit of all of our, our clients in terms of the way in which we work with them. The third thing I would say that is important in terms of Africa is understanding how to overcome infrastructural challenges which exist in the African market still. Um, from one country to the next, of course, it, it differs, and there is an enormous amount of progress being made from an infrastructure point of view, but we de do need to understand that what works in one country won't necessarily work in, a in, a in another country. I think cultural and protocol sensitivity are incredibly important because one can make an error which causes um, offence or causes concern in an African country very easily if we come in with an arrogant approach that, that where we come from the point of view of believing that what works in one country will simply work in another because that would not necessarily be true. Um, and then last and I think very importantly, so definitely not least, is that we should listen to what the African people say in terms of how we engage with them. So when we work with our affiliate agencies on the ground, it's really important that we listen to the advice that they give us and we treat them as trusted advisors uh, because that's what they're there to do and that will mean that when we do implement, we implement successfully.